to be a huge haul and these are all items that I pretty much collected throughout the past weekend and I know that the semi-annual sale is going on the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale and I know you guys have seen probably a ton of videos on those but I personally love watching them and I did tweet and I did post on Instagram some photos that I went shopping and people asked to see what I got so I thought I would go ahead and just show you guys what I got but I also did some other shopping so I'm also going to be throwing in Marshalls and Target so I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's jump right on so the first place that I went was actually Victoria's Secret the Friday of the sale and there just was not a lot going on there just wasn't a lot of items but I've had my eye on this for quite some time now in fact I thought I had already bought it but I don't think I have it I think I have this in a bigger size and I just don't know where it is so I got this little like coin purse type thing and it has like a cute little um, keychain right here I thought this would be really cute to put my money in or whatever during the summertime like when I go to the beach I can just throw everything in here and throw it in my bag because it is a little bit like of a waterproof material so I thought this would be a really cool thing to take to the beach and then the next thing that I picked up was this Victoria's Secret flavored gloss I love Victoria's Secret lip glosses they're really really sticky and long lasting and I've just always loved them they've always been like my number one gloss back when they had like beauty rush I don't even know do they still even have beauty rush lip glosses I don't even know but I saw this one it was like 65% off so was that coin little purse thing and this one is in the flavor mango sorbet these three items were were 65% off so I picked up these hair ties and they're the really cute like little fabric like tie ones I just thought they were really cute to pretty much wear on your wrist I, I'll probably wear it in my hair some because it does have like a felt underneath so it'll help it stay in your hair better so I'll probably end up wearing them but I just thought they would make a really cute like arm accessory to be honest so yeah I picked up these so after Preston and I went and saw Jurassic World I asked if I could go back to a different mall to check out their sales and oh my gosh this is like my holy grail mall now like I hadn't been there in years so I didn't really realize like how amazing this mall was so like now I'm gonna have to do a lot of shopping for summertime and go to the mall. but I was in a lot of pain the day that we went um, so I didn't get to do a lot of shopping but I did want to check out their sale for the semi-annual sale so that's when I went to this pink store that was from Victoria's Secret and this is from the store pink and I knew I wanted to get some sort of article of clothing, even if it was like, I don't care what it was. I just wanted to get some article of clothing. And I came across this tank top, which I almost bought online for their semi-annual sale. It's just this really cute pink tank top, and it's got like the black stripe on the bottom. It's got the little dog on the chest, and it just kind of looks like a jersey, which I love. I've been a basketball player my whole life. And one thing with pink, if you guys don't own anything from pink, always like shop a little bit down like I could wear a size like small medium small would be like the perfect size medium is like really big and baggy on me and then large is like pretty much a dress so I always kind of like go sizes down there so this is in a size medium because I wanted something baggy so this is in medium and I just thought oh my I just thought this was so cute. And since I'm doing semi-annual sale goodies, I will go into my Bath & Body Works haul. So from Bath & Body Works, oh, this bag is full. It was in two bags, but I kind of like combined it into one, which is now really, really heavy. And I'm sorry, but like my bang is going to mess up this entire video. I cannot keep this thing still. So if I like am messing with my bang, I'm really sorry. It just, it does not want to cooperate with me. Okay, so the first thing that I got from Bath & Body Works was Twilight Woods, and this is the hand cream. I got this for my sister because I think I am the only human being who does not like Twilight Woods. Preston loves it. I just don't like it. And I always get creams. I prefer the cream over the lotion. I just, I don't know. I prefer it. So I ended up getting my sister this Twilight Woods body cream. And then I ended up hitting up the like hand soaps because I knew that's what I wanted from the semi-annual sale. So I bought a bunch of different hand soaps. The first one I got was Perfect Beach Day. And I really like the deep cleansing hand soaps. The foam ones, I feel like people in my house, whenever people come over, myself, we use more than we actually need with that. So I feel like I go through the foam one way too quick I prefer it but I just I feel like I go through it way too quick so I always pick up this one instead and the scent of this is watery melon young coconut and sparkling bergamot I don't know what that means but that's what this is and then the next hand soap I got was seaside sunset I kind of stuck with like these ones because I thought the little label on it was really cute and I actually plan on holding on to the actual bottle and using them all through summertime and then I have pumpkin bottles that I'm gonna use all through fall although chances are after summer is over I'm gonna end up buying more fall scents so I don't know but I do plan on holding on to any of these summer ones so that I can use it next year if 
need be. Anyway, so I do reuse the bottles. So this one is Seaside Sunset and this one is Sunkissed Mango, Summer Petals, and Vanilla. Pretty much all of my favorite scents in one bottle. And then the next hand soap I got was Island Margarita. Hands down favorite summer scent from Bath Bioworks besides Coconut Lime. But this one is a tropical blend of mandarin lime and white and nectarine. Oh, this smells so good. And then the next soap was Cherry Blossom. This one was on sale, so I picked it up. Cherry Blossom is like an oldie but a goodie. It was like my holy grail for a really long time. But then like Cherry Blossom just kind of got like buried and everyone kind of forgot about it. But basically it's an inviting blend of Cherry Blossom, Wisteria, and Soft Musk. Really, really pretty scent. And then I got another Island Margarita because again, it's my favorite. Oh, just kidding. I got three Island Margaritas, so I have another Island margarita. Okay, and then I'll go back into the lotion. So the next lotion that I got was Fresh Brazil Citrus, and I had my eye on this collection for a really long time, but I knew that it would be at the semi-annual sale, so I never picked it up. But the keynotes in this one is Citrus, Luscious Pineapple, Mango Nectar, Tiare, I don't know what that is, and Passion Flower. So that is the scent in this one. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And the next one I got was K-O-Y, which I think means lay flower. Uh, I picked this one up. This is not my favorite one from this collection. I couldn't find my favorite one, unfortunately, but this one's still a really good one. This one is Sunkissed Plumeria, Vanilla Orchid, White Gardenia, Island Lily, and Coconut Milk. So it definitely smells really good. Not my favorite, but it definitely is like a really nice coconut lotion. And then the next one I got was Country Apple. I remember, I don't remember her name on YouTube, but she was one of the reasons why I started YouTube. I don't think she makes videos anymore, but I remember I was obsessed with like her hair, so I was like obsessed with like practically her, and uh, she would always wear Country Apple, and she would stock up on Country Apple, so I remember like seeing her video, I like went straight to Bath and Body Works after the gym, and I was like in high school, and I go straight to Bath and Body Works, and I like grab a ton of Country Apple, I'm like, I need to stock up too, and then I ended up not liking it very much, because I had so many bottles that like I ended up just giving them away, and so when I saw this, I was like, I have to pick this up because this is so funny. So I did end up picking up Country Apple and smelling it again. I'm like, oh, I do love the scent. I just was so tired of it back in the day. But the keynotes in this is Macintosh Apple, Apple Blossom Fresh Maguet, Sheer Sunlight, and Orchard orchard woods and then I got a Hawaii passion fruit kiss dribble moisturizer this was the most expensive thing that I got this one was like six bucks whereas the others were like three something oh, but this scent is so amazing it's Kona mountain passion fruit luscious kiwi Hawaiian red pineapple papaya blossom and creamy macadamia I love fruity vanilla coconut scents like if I haven't said that before in this video I love those scents those are my favorite like love them okay and then now I will go into shower gel so the first one that I got was Pearberry. this is a throwback one that they had they have like a bunch of like throwback scents and this is one of them so I picked up this one because I don't ever remember this scent but it smells really really good so the keynotes in this is Ajua pear, wild berries, apple blossom, golden freesia, and blonde woods. Half of the things I'm reading on the back of the bottle, I have no idea what they mean. And then the next thing that I have is lush pink dragon fruit. I thought this was like a really cute bottle, so I had to get it. Uh, this one is pink dragon fruit, wild water lilies, pomegranate, saparina, jungle plum, passion fruit, and nectar. Okay, and I'm going to go through the other ones fairly quickly because this video is already starting to get really long. So the next thing that I picked up was country apple in the shower gel. I've already read the keynotes on this. And then I picked up another pearberry shower gel. Okay, so those are everything that I got from Bath and Body Works. And then the next place I went to was Target. So I didn't actually plan on getting anything at Target. I literally thought I was going to walk in and walk out. Yeah, that didn't happen. So I bought a ton of cleaning supplies like sponges, spray bottles, uh, like things to clean uh, stainless steel. I just bought a bunch of cleaning supplies, but then I ended up getting some Sour Patch gum. I don't like fruity gum, but I saw this. I was like, yeah, I have to try it. And it's actually pretty good. I got the red berry one. I don't know about like those sour like watermelon and all those, but I did want to try the red berry and it's actually pretty good. Flavor doesn't last very long, but whatever. And then I ended up getting these yoga pants. This is in like the sleep section and these ones are really big. I usually wear size medium in these, but I ended up picking up the large ones, which are really, really big. So I don't know if I'm going to hold on to them or not, but they're super soft. And although these are in like the sleep section, I still wear them as like actual like yoga pants. The only difference is that they're not quite as tight and especially these being large, they're still not as tight. So I usually don't wear these ones to the gym, but I wear them out and about and I definitely wear them like throughout the entire day. I'm living in yoga pants all the time. So I got those and then I ended up getting these ones which have little blue polka dots. Same deal. They were part of like the sleepwear ones 
It just means that they're a little bit softer and they just aren't quite as tight as like workout yoga pants. And then like I said, I bought a bunch of like cleaning supplies. This is the only one I have. I just thought this one was cute. I already had these ones, but I needed some more. They have like little summer like designs on them. So I thought they were super cute. So uh, the rest of them are in the kitchen though. And then the last place that I went was Marshall's. And again, I did not go there to get anything. We needed to get presents and stuff, but of course I found stuff. And these were kind of impulse buys, but I'm really glad that I bought them. I ended up finding these headbands from the brand Kyodan. I don't know. I feel like it's like a yoga brand. And uh, I ended up getting these two. I've already like, I guess, stretched this one out because it's definitely bigger than the other one. So I've worn the pink one and oh my gosh, they are so stinking comfortable and adorable and bright neon. I love them. And then I ended up getting this water bottle that's from the brand Nathan. And I'm sure you guys have seen this from Marshalls. I feel like this is like a staple. Every Marshalls I've ever gone to has this water bottle there and they've had them there and every time I walk by I'm like I need it and then I don't get it so this one I was like you know what I don't care I'm gonna get it so I ended up getting these and like if you can't tell I was really into bright colors but it doesn't stop there then I walked up with this big old pink yoga mat if you guys know if you guys have been watching my vlogs I do a lot of stretches and workouts at nighttime now and Preston has like a mat it's like a workout mat but it grosses me out thinking of like men using it like it just grosses me out so I was like I need my own mat so finally I picked up my own it was on clearance for eight dollars I'm like uh yes I need this so I got this and then I had these headbands and then I had this bright pink bottle and then I had my Victoria's Secret iPhone case and I'm like throwing it all on the counter and like I can tell people are looking at me like wow does she think she's Barbie or something okay so yes that is everything that I purchased I have some other stuff I was going to show you but I'm like no let's keep this video somewhat short so anyway those are everything that I picked up let me know if you guys have any of the same scents what you guys think about them let me know if you guys have any of the same things that I got let me know your thoughts on them let me know what you guys got at the semi-annual sale because I believe it is still going on at least it is the day that I'm filming this I don't know if it's still going to be the day I finally upload this but I believe it's still going on and I would love to be able to check out like other stuff that you guys are recommending and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did please subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I will see all of you guys in my next video take care everyone mm -hmm.